Hey, Victoria, how are you? I'm good. How about you? Good. I, uh, I got sent your uh, TikTok. You covering uh, the Diddy case and the things mentioned in it. Uh-huh. Is, uh, are you okay to speak with me about this? Yeah, yes, sir. Uh-huh. Obviously, we're not in court right now. We're going to be in court at some point. But the information that you're covering, in, in addition to uh, involving me, is, uh, is 100% inaccurate. Hey, guys, have you heard about the latest scandal involving Diddy's camp? Diddy's secrets are being exposed left and right. Remember when Lil Rod claimed that Diddy had a private investigator? Well, now TikTokers are stepping forward with shocking allegations. They're saying that this Diddy's PI has been reaching out to them, trying to silence and intimidate them. Can you believe it? There are so many twists and turns in this story. And the craziest part? They caught it all on tape. Stick around as we dive deep into this scandal and explore the leaked audio as Diddy's PI was caught intimidating TikTokers reporting the case. But before we go, don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's get started. Just so you know, these are the TikTokers who got the tapes at It's Fakimi and at Just Neen. They're exposing Diddy and his private investigator. Make sure you follow these ladies, okay? Let's get started. Hey, everyone. Before I share anything or play any recordings, I need to explain something. In Georgia, it's against the law to secretly record a phone call or a conversation in a private place without the consent of at least one party involved. Adjustine wants to make it clear that she has received full consent from Vicky Me to play this video for you. So, on March 29th, Russell Green, the private investigator mentioned in Little Rod's lawsuit against Diddy, contacted Vicky Me. Yes, this is the same private investigator who allegedly harassed an eight-year-old for information about her father. He only reads what she sees and she doesn't add to it. So, the video I'm about to play for you is the conversation between Vicky and Mr. Russell Green, the private investigator that Diddy allegedly hired to gather information about Rodney Jones. It's important to listen closely to this conversation as it sheds light on the tactics used by investigators in cases like these. Let's dive in and see what was discussed between Vicky Me and Mr. Green. This could potentially provide valuable insight into the methods employed by private investigators hired by high-profile individuals like Diddy. Keep in mind that this is a serious matter, and the information revealed in this video could have significant implications. Their conversation began with Vicky greeting Russell, saying, Hi Russell, this is Victoria. I got your email. Russell replied, Hey, Vicky. How are you? Vicky responded. I'm good. How about you? Russell continued. I'm good. I got sent your TikTok. Are you okay to speak with me about this? Vicky assured him. Yes, sir. Russell then clarified, obviously, we're not in court right now, but the information that you're covering, in addition to involving me, is 100% inaccurate. Sorry for okay? Can you hear me? Vicky confirmed. I can hear you, but I didn't hear you saying anything. Russell explained, okay. Vicky asked, so is there a reason that you're calling me? Because as mentioned in the video, all of this is alleged and I made that clear in the video. Nothing is all as listening to anybody who follows me, they know this is just his version of events. Nothing in this law document is fact nor fiction until obviously it's proven in court. But the only thing I did was read what was in the document. So I didn't insinuate that it was true. I just read what was listed. Russell cautioned her. Yeah, I just want to caution you as a journalist, as what you're doing, the entertainment that you're doing, you're actually causing a little bit more harm than good. And what I want to share with you, I understand you keep using the word allegedly. The problem is that the way that you're covering it sends a different message. And I just want to caution you that this is a very real investigation. This is not entertainment. The text messages that you're covering, the way that you're presenting it, matter of fact, even what it said was inaccurate. The text message that you're referring to in your story, if you go back and listen to it, doesn't even go with the story that you're giving. A different text message. Vicky clarified, Sir, I'm not giving anything. Sir, I'm reading what's literally on the screenshot on the paper. If there's an issue with how it's written, that would be a question you have with Tyrone Blackburn. He's the one who wrote it. So, I'm just literally, and once again, I'm not a journalist. Vicky explained, all I'm doing is literally reading what's on the paper and reading it to the audience. All of this is public information. I understand why you're calling and saying it's inaccurate, which I appreciate. So now I know going forward, you will not ever be mentioned. 
You were only mentioned in that small piece, so I get that part, but I'm not insinuating. Russell interjected. Go listen to me very carefully, okay? Go back and listen to what you put out there and then look at the text message that you're referring to. And I will remind you of this. You're looking at a screenshot of something that is incomplete. A lot is incomplete. Victoria responded, okay, so I get you. And once again, that conversation would be with Tyrone Blackburn, but I didn't write the docket. Like, I didn't write that. Russell acknowledged, well, I understand, but I would hope, and trust me, it's being dealt with by Blackburn and judges and attorneys and all that. Russell continued, but again, if you want to have any credibility, not just run an entertainment site, if you want to have any credibility in what you're doing and what you're saying, instead of just saying, alleged, really need to be mindful and be careful of what you're putting out there and do a little bit more research. If you do a little bit more research, I think it's going to change your opinion and it's also going to change how you promote what you're doing. You don't have to do what I'm telling you. I'm just letting you know it's 100% fabricated and all you're doing is recirculating something that's 100% fabricated and I can't go into any more details, right? Right? Yeah, it's a serious investigation, but I'm just letting you know. I'm giving you a heads up. I'm trying to help you. I don't have to make this call, but I'm trying to help you. Be very careful the way that you're promoting this and just go back and do some of your research. Do some research. You're smart. I see what you're doing. I understand what you're doing. I don't get it. But just because you say alleged, there's still some responsibility that comes with what you're doing. This is not a game, not entertainment. No one's entertainment on your part. This is not entertainment. This is a real investigation. And so if you just take a little bit of time, take a little bit of time, do some research on the people that you're covering and the validity of what's being said and what you're putting out there, I think you're gonna have a much, much better story than what you're put out there right now. Vicky replied, Yeah, I hear you, and I appreciate the call. You enjoy the rest of your day. In another video shared by TikToker Adjust Nee, she expressed, now, Vicky is a good human being because I would have let this man keep talking so he would have talked himself into some trouble. But I do have a couple of questions for Mr. Russell Green. Why not reach out to CNN? Why not reach out to Fox News? Why not reach out to Blackburn? Why reach out to a TikToker? Because to me, you just let us know some things that we didn't know. First and foremost, you let us know that you are actually the private investigator that Diddy hired. Thank you for telling us because we didn't really know that. It's all alleged right now, but thank you for confirming that for us. On top of that, you also let us know that there are more text messages out there, not just the screenshots that we have on this lawsuit. I really appreciate that information. And now that we know you guys are going to court really soon, that's great information too. To me, it seemed like he was trying to intimidate her, trying to get her to change her story, trying to get her to take something down. And I think if Vicky would have let this man keep talking, which I wanted him to keep talking, he would have asked her to do that. If you have nothing to worry about and you don't feel guilty in any way, form or fashion, you would never contact somebody, especially somebody that has nothing to do with the investigation whatsoever. Vicky is not on the lawsuit. All she did was read. But this man felt so compelled to contact her on several platforms to get her to see something different. Sir, if it was 100% fabricated, you wouldn't be chilling nobody. But you just gave us some kind of clarity. I appreciate it. So, if anybody else gets contacted by this man, by all means, make sure you get a recording of it. And just to let you know, we did try to contact Blackburn as well. But nobody picked up. Nobody would answer us. So we just dropped it ourselves. And the one thing I don't appreciate you doing is intimidating my friend or trying to get her to change her mind about something she's seeing on the paper. But that's all the news I have for today. Guys, bye. This video highlights the TikToker's perspective on the interaction between Vicky and Mr. Russell Green. It suggests that Green's decision to contact Vicky instead of major news outlets or legal representatives raises questions about his intentions. The TikToker implies that Green's actions may have been an attempt to intimidate Vicky or influence her narrative. The video also emphasizes the importance of recording any interactions with Green or similar individuals to maintain transparency and protect against potential manipulation. Those are valid points. If Green and Diddy's legal team were truly serious about their claims, why didn't they approach major news outlets like CNN or TMZ? 
Why didn't they present their case in court instead of allegedly using a private investigator to intimidate people into silence? It seems like a questionable tactic, especially when compared to the actions of others involved in similar situations, like Charlem Stevie J. They seem to be making themselves look foolish, in my opinion. But let's not stop there. The original creator that the private investigator reached out to did a follow-up. Hold on, this could get even more interesting. In a video, and it's Vicky Me shared, we have sat on this video since March 29th, which is when everything happened. We've sat on that video because obviously it involves legal stuff and the legal stuff of the person is going to shock you. The reason I'm not posting the video on my page is that we don't want to give this situation any more attention than it has to. We tried to do our due diligence and nothing came of it. So here we are. Okay, y'all. So I just finished wrapping up a meeting but it is wild that I have to make this video. First and foremost, I'm okay, y'all. I swear, I'm okay. I am safe, I am of sound mind, and I am not suicidal. That is wild, I have to say that. But I understand why people were concerned. But yeah, I'm okay. I do have a license to carry, and I do carry it. Just to put it all into perspective, when it first happened, we'll unpack all of this later tonight on the live. But my parents are aware, family friends, friends, everybody is aware, we're all on standby. My parents, they all do have a license to carry, and we do carry. So, whatever they're with, we're with as well. And most importantly, my head remains on a swivel. Anyway, that's how I was raised, that's how I was taught. So, once again, whatever they're with, we're all the way with it. And most importantly, and I say this respectfully, my mom didn't raise no fool. So, we're gonna keep rolling, we're gonna keep reporting, and we're gonna keep breaking down these legal complaints and documents as normal because this is my purpose. My purpose to be an attorney is bigger than me. This is not just for me, this is for y'all too. I know my purpose is to help people, and shockingly enough, somebody made a good comment. A couple of people made this comment today that were on the video, and they said, Vicky, if this was not confirmation that you're on the right track with being an attorney, I don't know what is. And this is exactly right, but I'm okay. We'll see y'all. Guys, Cat Williams wasn't joking when he said 2024 would be a year of truth and exposure, but maybe not the way Diddy had hoped. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to check out this next video if you don't know that Meek Mill admits to gay affairs with Diddy. Now, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for another exciting package.